I used to be a young person. I mean, I think it's hard for anybody to believe, but if it's historically accurate and it is true. And uh, I was as disaffected as any student could possibly be. But I finally became turned on to the work itself. And what turned me on was a class I took as a sophomore in college in the contemporary short story. And I got to read people like uh, John Updike, uh, Flannery O'Connor in particular, who just turned my world upside down. Here was um, a comedy, you know, oh, a good man is hard to find. It's a comedy, it's hilarious. The grandmother is, uh, you know, is on the trip. She's brought her cat along, she's not supposed to. Her son is nervous, the kids are brats. It's just a typical comedy, and yet, it turns into one of the most tragic and horrifying stories you can imagine. And so there's a long way from laughter to this, much more so than in a conventional story, a uh, realistic conventional story, which there is no humor. Um, that really appealed to me. Everybody's been to Greasy Lake. And it is funny in terms of the narrator's uh, tone. He's a wise guy, but he's looking back on having been a wise guy with experience. So you're put in the scene, and yet, the language stands above it, and it's telling you, uh, it's mocking, it's self-mocking. There was a time when courtesy and winning ways went out of style, when it was good to be bad, when you cultivated decadence like a taste. We were all dangerous characters then. We wore torn-up leather jackets, slouched around with toothpicks in our mouths, sniffed glue and ether and what somebody claimed was cocaine. When we wheeled our parents' whining station wagons out into the street, we left a patch of rubber half a block long. We drank gin and grape juice, tango, thunderbird, and valley high. We were 19. We were bad. We read André Gide and struck elaborate poses to show that we didn't give a shit about anything. At night, we went up to Greasy Lake. That story, Greasy Lake, I wrote... Uh in 1981. Uh, it was a very early story, and I had been inspired by uh, some of Bruce's uh, teenage anthems, and in particular uh, the one uh, Spirits in the Night, which men mentions a place where the kids go at night, and it's called Greasy Lake. That's all I needed, really, because um, one of the reasons why that story has remained so popular is because it speaks to a kind of teenage ethos and desire. We've all been to Greasy Lake. We all want to challenge the limits at some point, especially when we're young. We want to find out what's bad, what's verboten, 